Hi, my name is Frederick and welcome to another Maya to Blender tip video. I like to make these videos because I used to be a Maya user and I've moved over to Blender in the last couple of years and I've noticed that there's little things that I am used to in Maya and uh, when I moved over to Blender they seemed like convoluted or complicated and uh, with these tips I hope to help anybody that has a bit the same problem as I did. Um, the tip today is how to move the pivot point in an easy way instead of the convoluted way that Blender seems to uh, give us. Uh, but there is an easy way uh, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. Uh, this tip is also useful for Blender users because I've seen other Blender users uh, using uh, the convoluted way. So uh, this might speed up your workflow. I am using a uh, industry standard interface, which means that all my shortcut keys are a little bit like Maya. I prefer it this way because I'm used to Maya and I know that the original Blender keys are for certain things a little bit easier to work with, but uh, yeah, I got used to this, so I'm uh, using it this way. And also got a little bit color, Maya coloring going on. So uh, that's why it might look a little bit different from what you have. Let's create a cube uh, to start off with. You might already have one because the, pre uh, the original start file of Blender is with a cube. I changed my preference file so it doesn't have a cube, but uh, for this little tutorial, I need a cube. So here it is. And as you can see, we have the uh, origin point or the pivot point of this cube. And um, it sits right in the middle, which is good uh, for most part. And Basically, this is a very important thing because uh, when you, for example, want to rotate stuff, it will actually ro rotate around that uh, uh, exact point. Or if you want to scale, it will actually scale nicely uh, around that point as well. Now, sometimes we do want to rotate around an edge or a point. And the best way of doing these things is actually move your pivot point around. I call it pivot point because in Maya it used to be a pivot point. And um, in Maya it was really easy because you just press insert and then the handles or the gizmos that you use to move uh, stuff around just changed in a slightly different gizmo and you could move the pivot point around without actually moving the object around. Now in Blender they have this seemingly convoluted way uh, to do this and I'll go show you first the convoluted way. Uh, because I've seen many Blender users doing it this way as well. And they actually use this little uh, circle here, uh, dotted circle, which is the uh, 3D cursor. Now, I don't say the 3D cursor is useless. I don't use it that much, but for certain things it can be uh, convenient. Uh, but yeah, it was used actually to move um, your pivot point around. So let's do that the in my opinion, the convoluted way. Um, so you select the object, um, then you go to edit mode. And for example, we're gonna move our pivot point uh, towards this uh, particular vertex. And then you can actually go to mesh, snap, and we go cursor to select it. And there you go, we have the 3D cursor actually attached to that particular vertex. Then we can go back to object mode, objects, set origin and then we can put the origin to 3D cursor and voila we have moved the origin around. That is a way to do it but to be honest I find it not very flexible because what if I wanted to put the 3D cursor here in the middle of the uh, the, the face of that cube and um, yeah it, it just takes too long to you know snap the thing go into the menus and uh, stuff like that. So there's an easier way. Uh, the way I like to do it now is we go to the tool. We are actually in the move tool. Uh, so you have to have selected that one. If you are using the industry standard interfaces, you press W uh, for the move tool. And then you, there's this little uh, menu here and you can see all the items and stuff, but there's also a tool uh, set of uh, options. And when you press origins, you get a very interesting thing because now when you move uh, your gizmos around, it actually just moves the pivot point, which is great, right? Because it 
looks a little bit like pressing insert in Maya. Okay, so this is good. Now, the way we want to uh, easily move that uh, pivot point around is by using the snap tool. So, for example, let's say we want to put it to the vertex. We use vertex here, then we activate the snap tool. And now we grab, for example, this uh, gizmo. And then I hold my cursor over the pivot point that I want to go to, release it. And there you go. I have exactly my pivot point on the bottom of this cube. And if I go to the item, I can put it back to zero. And now I have put my cube exactly on the bottom plane uh, of the z-axis, uh, which was so much quicker to do than going through all the little menus. And if for some reason you say like, oh, but now I have to move the pivot point because I have to rotate something, that's quite easy. Again, you go back to the tool set, um, the origins are selected, um, there you go. Uh, and for example, you want to rotate around that axis here. Uh, there you go. Now we've put it on that line. We uncheck the uh, tool. And for example, we do rotate. And now we can neatly uh, rotate the object around that particular side. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, if you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And... Um, Subscribe because you can help me prove to my wife that making YouTube videos is not that useless. Uh, and the more subscribers I get, uh, the more I can prove to her that uh, it's actually uh, there for a good cause. Um, so hit that subscribe button and I'll do my best to get more of these uh, Maya to Blender tip videos out for you guys. Thank you and have fun with Blender. Bye bye.